So, I'm a drummer and I love Genshin Impact. We've got the brand new character, Sejuane. Possibly the cutest character, also with the most fun name to say. Let's watch the demo. Huh, really? One time through, we'll go back and it's listen to the music afterward. Yep, it has a bunch of uses, and medicine's one of them. Our maritime flower in full bloom is a great cure for exhaustion. Man, this is already so happy. Yeah. We'll take us there. Wow. Let's go. <laughs> this is adorable, man. Oh, why'd they do that? They're just making it extra cute now. Bro, that crab is just existing and she literally pulls out a gun on it. That's crazy. Why'd she waddle it? Oh my gosh. This is adorable. Nouvellette cameo, let's go. My god, dude, this music is... I might actually cry. Oh my god, those guys are literally me right now. This is so cute. Ah! I'm actually fighting off tears. I've never cried over something being cute before, but this is amazing. Really taking it to the next level. Wow. <laughs> the posing in the picture. with added maritime flowers. It's really refreshing. Oh my goodness. Wanna try some? <laughs> Should not the poison tester Mau Mau Kitty Girl? Why didn't you say it was so bitter? <laughs> what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> Damn, well, she got them. The important thing is that it works. What does it work? What does it do? None of them looked sick. They, those were three perfectly healthy grown women. Well, I guess I guess Lynette's not grown, but you know. Either way, okay. Music time. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I barely paid attention to music in detail that first round. I was just focused on how cute it was. But the music is adorable. Huh, really? So it's let's medicinal? break that down. Yep. It has a bunch of uses. And medicine's one of them. All right. Maritime flower in full bloom is a I still can't focus on the music. <laughs> you can't buy them in the store. Okay. So we got the synthesizer uh, slaying the hell out, right? Man. We're building right here, right? We've got four on the floor, kick drum, a little slight roll on the snare, just a little fill every now and then. We're going into, into a drop, right? Woo! I love that. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, so check this out. I, I just realized um, you've got that like kind of boom, boom. You got that lead synth leading right there. And then you've got the drums in the background. Um, so that lead synth hits that, that boom, boom, those hard hits uh, in the first half of the measure. And then the second half that's not there. And then they get an extra kick drum to fill the space, but like shake it up a little bit. All right, listen for that, right? Here we go. Synth, kick. And so whenever the synth is doing its part, you get one hit on the kick drum. And they're, they're essentially splitting the measure in two, right? Front half is emphasized on the synthesizer and that boom, boom, you know, that little lead right there. And then the second half, they're pulling that back and they're filling in the gap with a little extra mm, danciness on the kick drum. It's just pretty neat. I don't know. I don't know that it's that important, but it's just cool. Because, you know, a lot of times with um, like these, especially the electronic and super digital songs, the drums are more or less like on a loop through the whole thing. You just kind of hear the same thing repeatedly. So like whenever they make deliberate efforts to, to shake it up, 
I don't know. I, I it's cool to me. I don't know. I'll keep looking. Man, dude, it's like there's sound effects in the music, like being used as instruments. So we're building again. I did notice this part. Right here, you've got like the classic, you know, the EDM dance build. I don't remember if it's probably gonna, you know, double up and then maybe even like quadruple up. But uh, you've got that just going straight one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then behind that, you've got another slap happy synthesizer, like kind of bouncing in on the ands, like the one and two and. And it I, that just sounds really cool. Listen for that. Boom. All right, so it's not just on the ends, it's just in there. That's cool. Help, snare doubled up. This sounds familiar, right? Okay, that makes sense now. On the the earlier section of the song, you got the boom, boom, and then nothing there, and they added in a little extra kick. Well, now we know they come back to that. And then they add in some fancy synth on that back end. Let's listen to see if they still have the extra kick in there or if they keep the kick drum pattern, you know, uh, simplified like they do in the first part. Nope, the kick drum's still pretty prominent there. But it just adds, uh, by leaving the kick the same, with that extra synth in there, it creates dynamic so that even though, the, you know, you've had the synth, that boom, boom that you're familiar with and you've already heard it once in the song, it feels familiar. Then on the back half, they change it up and the only thing they add is the extra synthesizer run there as opposed to just the kick drum. It creates dynamic, right? You heard it once, it sounded one way, you heard it the second time, it sounds, ooh, a little bit bigger. We're at the end of the video. We're starting to, ooh. Uh, I was gonna say we're starting to climax. The we, We've reached the climax of the video. Yeah, that's so fun. That's so fun. And man, they are, they are, they're laying it down on the you synth know, in there too. I some herbal tea with added romer time flowers. It's really Oh, oh I, I don't remember if we, we didn't talk about this at the start of the video. Uh, this sounds like the same thing they do at the start of the video. Just light, airy. And you notice not only there, you notice it more easily there because there's not a bunch of other sounds happening. But here specifically where everything else is drawn back, you've just got like that kind of background atmospheric synth running. Uh, it's really heavy on reverb. And reverbs where you get like a, it's not an echo. It's not like it repeats itself, but it's like each note gets held out for slightly longer. And um, they did that um, with a lot of things in the new Valette demo. And even a little bit in the Farina demo. And it's just common. It's a common theme for water. Like they 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 want the sonic experience to match with the visual experiences, right? So you're watching a water character. There's water animations. A lot of the sounds, not all of them, because then it just turns like a washed mess. But a lot of the sounds had a lot of, uh, had a lot of reverb put on them. And it's super common, at least with Genshin, when it comes to water characters and just like the, the atmosphere surrounding hydro, hydro units, hydro power, stuff like that. It's a, it's a neat thing that they did here as well. So, so I made some herbal tea with added romer time flowers. It's really and it, it just kind of hangs out, like the note just hangs in the air. You might even say it's just floating, as if in water. Mm. Why didn't you say it was so? Bitter. I think out of what does out of all you, the stronger. Genshin character demos, I need this song well, isolated on its own ASAP. Cause this that song was super fun. I that was just a blast. And I mean, it's not like it was even like a super deep song. You know, we've certainly heard more complex arrangements from Hoyo Mix, but oh my god, that was so much fun. I almost cried because of how much fun I was having. It was that cute. And if you almost cried having fun with this video too, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more, share it with your friends and join our Discord server and follow me on Twitter. Links to everything are down below. I'll see you in the next one. Love the games, love yourself, and I love you, bye.